All right, welcome back to the 3DS Max 2018 YouTube a visual classroom extravaganza timing fun time super party something. Anyway, today we're going to learn how to create movies, baby. Yeah, you're going to be a star. It's going to be awesome. So currently you have your video with your bouncing um, cube or whatever you made, uh, whatever you got. Let's go ahead and close that. You've got your bouncing cube. It is 30 frames, which is super great because it's fast. It should be about a second. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, and it's bouncing. Mine looks weird now because I was playing with it. That's okay. Great. We are going to adjust this now. We are going to actually export it out. So first things first, um, hit Shift F just like always. We are going to make sure that we can see the very edge, the top part, where it gets... Uh, we want to frame it as good as possible. So at 15, it's as high as it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. I accidentally grabbed that. Um, I'm going to turn off that. Okay, good. And when it's lowest, I want to make sure I can see it as well, as good as possible. So it's as big as I can, but it never goes out of frame. So you're going to basically frame up your animation. So it takes as much space as possible and never goes outside. Perfect. So you can see down here, I got nothing. No, very, very little room. And that's it. It's extremes. So this is an extreme pose down here, an extreme pose up here. Actually, in my case, it's here because I was messing with my curve but look for your extreme pose at the top and at the bottom make sure it's in there all the time to make this a little easier to see let's go ahead and hit m for material editor and throw some other material on there something that we can see i don't actually care uh what it is as long as it's not see-through um we could do the whatever just standard is fine pick a color any color um let's do Let's do bluish. I like blue. That's great. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we can see a viewport and apply it to my object. So now I've got my blue cube. It's super good. It's 2018 land fest color ish. So that's great. And if you hit play, it bounces. Fantastic. So now, Hit F10, because those are our render settings. And if you're using your scan line renderer, which you should be, um, then you should be in okay shape. Uh, if you're not using your scanline render, make sure that the material you created is a scanline material. I hit M, I'm waiting for the thing to come back up. There we go. So I used a standard material, so materials, uh, scanline, standard. Uh, that way it'll render fine. If you do that, you should have the exact same settings. For target, we're gonna do production rendering mode. And for renderer, we're gonna do scanline because we already talked about that. Uh, the viewer is going the view we're going to use is uh, quad four perspective, which is what we're using and then uh, Yours may not be quad four, but as long as it's perspective, you should be fine Now here's where it gets tricky, but not really um, Under time output up and up till now. We've only done single which is like single frames Now we're actually going to do a range or you can do active time segment active time segment means anything that's on your time bar which is what we want or we want 0 to 30. Okay? Cool. 0 to 30 seems awesome. Um, you could type in 0 to 30 if you want. Uh, if you did 0 to 100, it would bounce and then it would stop once it hits the bottom. We don't want that. We want it to sort of loop from 0 frames to 30 frames. So 0 to 30. Now, output size. Up until now, we've always used HDTV, which is great. Really great. Really, really great, but not for this assignment because I'm going to be getting like over a hundred of these videos. They're only one second, but because if they're HD 1920 by 1080, they'll be way too big and I'll have like a bunch of large files that I have to like download and manipulate and save and whatever. So we're going to break this down to a much smaller file. Let's go ahead. Instead of 1920 by 1080, let's just do 480 by 270. It's one of the options right over here. Everything else should be the same because the width and height are, are a multiple of 1.7778. So, cool. That seems great. So now we've got an active time segment. We've got a range. Now what we need to do is go to the bottom where it says render output. And we need to hit files. We are going to call this number underscore last name underscore bounce. Okay? 
mine says .mpeg because I was experimenting with some st stuff a second ago. But we're going to save this file type AVI. Click Save. All right. Now, when it says the file setup, so files, we're .avi, we're going to go into setup. Now, it should automatically do this the first time you choose. And you got two options, DV encoder or MPEG compressor or uncompressed. We want to use MJPEG compressor because that will, I've had problems with the other one, which is why I'm actually redoing this little section of the video. But so MPEG compressor quality 100 equals best. We're going to leave it at 75. That's the default. And that's great. So we're going to click OK. And now we're going to save. Remember, you'll be whatever period, underscore your last name, underscore bounce. And now we're going to hit render. Now it's going to render out super quick because we're a very small image. And then when it's done, it's done and it's saved on your desktop. So mine is delete. I can delete this one is right here. And if you right click properties, you can see um, it's really small, 126 kilobytes, which is nice. And if you double click on it, AVI, um, uh, AVI, uh, VLC should just play it. Now it's really low quality, but whatever. You can see the bounce. I can see the bounce. I can see your video. Everybody's happy. You're getting hundred percent because it's bouncing, looking so good. Cube, you looking good. <laughs> whatever. All right, great. So it's done. Cool. Save this. Email it to me. It's super small. So it's like a, like a word doc. It's so small. It's fantastic. You can make a the animated GIF out of it or something. Uh, so yeah, that's it, man. You're done. I hope you had fun this week with the uh, whole process of learning how to animate using keyframes. And um, I uh, look forward to talking to you next week. We'll start looking at bones. Bones, 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 bones inside of you. Hey, that's it. We'll see you next time. Oh, I should, I should not delete that. I should let it bounce. All right, perfect. So like I said, next week... We'll do some cooler stuff, of course, and uh, I will uh, be happy to see you. So that's it. See you next time.